Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. The Tusculum Pioneers trail in the second quarter, 21 to 7, as we pick up the action. The second quarter highlights brought to you by Applebee's. Again, Brian, we, we, I feel like we have a really good football team, but we can't spot anybody this many points. And uh, we do not do a very good job right here defensively of maintaining our gap responsibility over there. And you look up, and we're down 28 to 7, and we're going to fight. We're going to come back, as people will see in our highlights. But we've got to find a way to make it happen a little better. This is great effort by, by Josh Davis, a true freshman linebacker out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. And that's one of the big dog hits of the day. Comes off the corner, makes a big tackle. Uh, and picks up, and he also gets the fumble, I believe. But this is just phenomenal effort, him using his athleticism and speed. Josh doesn't realize how good a player he can really be. Uh, he got hurt early on. He's not got to play a whole lot, but he's going to be a great player for Tuscan College before it's all said and done. Perfect form tackle, knocks the ball loose, just does a great job of being aware, seeing the football, gets back up there and gets on it. I believe that's him. Just a uh, really good effort by that young man. The Tusculum football team led the league in sacks going into the day, but have only accounted for two sacks over the last two weeks. But that obviously a big one for the Pioneers who trail right now 28-7 to in the second quarter. The Pioneers would get three out of it. Great uh, job here by Skylar West, our long snapper from over in Oneida. Uh, Skylar is just really a valuable, valuable part of our football team. Great job by Billy Poozer, true freshman holding for that uh, kicker there. And Gareth Rollins obviously uh, someone special that, uh, unfortunately, he's a senior. When he's gone, it's going to be sad. But here's a miscue by their punt team. Uh, we had, we felt like we could get to their punter all day long, and uh, the bad snap, and uh, the punter there obviously kicks the ball and hits his own guy. His own guy makes a great catch to hang on to it there. But uh, we get the ball here inside the 30-yard line, and you know it could be a change in momentum for us. We got to find a way to make some plays. Bo Cordell on second down, second down and 13 would find Calvin Britt, but Calvin Britt the catch and run, and it's very similar to what he did last week versus Mars Hill. Calvin's just been so steady for us, and, and again, I think we need to notice that the protection. Bo's got all day standing in there, has big Hannibal Ruiz doing his part, and you know, I want to make sure those guys all get acknowledgement. I think they played as good as a football game as they've ever played as an off a group of offensive linemen here in my 13 years. Just did a great job protecting all day long. And, Calvin does his part catching and running and, and getting us inside the 20-yard line. Calvin Britt, as we'll talk about some of his numbers, did go over 2,000 yards for his career receiving on the day. We'll talk about a little bit more of that on his 132 yards on the day. Bo Cordell sneaks in from a yard out to make the score as it is right now, a 28-14 game, uh, or should say a 28-17 game. As the Pioneers, you can sense it now, the defense really starting to play. Starting to feel really good about what we're doing. We're finally putting some pressure on our quarterback. Uh, great job here by Matthias Brown. We've missed Matthias the last two weeks. He's finally recovered from a knee injury, and he really brings a lot of, uh, a lot of different kind of football to our defensive football team, and just a great job there, an individual effort by him getting in there making a tackle for a loss on their running back. Boomer Brown has missed the last two games for the Pioneers, had 22 tackles. Uh, through the first three and a lot of those behind the line of scrimmage. So the Pioneers do force yet another punt by their backup punter JoJo Morris who wasn't even on the varsity squad coming in. There's Chad Blakely for 14. Here's Deontay Giss for 10. You know, Chad Blakely's a young man that we're going to be saying a lot about as a future holds. He's a freshman we've talked some about, but he does a really good job for us. And here Bo throws a, a good pass, gets inside the 10-yard line. I don't think that's Rashad Carter. And, uh, Bo here making sure we make right decisions and good decisions and just a little bit out of reach. But uh, when we're inside the red zone, we always tend to put the football where nobody can catch it but our guy. And Calvin dang near makes a great reception. Calvin had a catch just like that last week versus Mars Hill. This a bit high. So here goes Blakely again. And thought he was going to break a tackle and get inside the end zone. But does get inside the five. You take a penalty to give a better angle for Rollins to attempt uh, a short kick, 25 yards. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, Gareth. Uh, Said, Coach, I probably have a little better angle if we'll take five. So we took a five yard penalty. And here, unfortunately, we give them a five yard penalty and uh, we're sort of getting some of our own medicine. We got to stay on sides and they, th they do a good job of throwing it up. And the young man for them runs under it. But we got to we gotta stay on sides. Too many silly penalties. And again, they're, they're, we got to make that play right there. It's uh, a good throw by their quarterback, but we should, we should actually be there to intercept that ball or blow it up or something. But, just a good play by, by the Newberry Wolves and not a very good play or execution there by Tuscan College. Devastating play right there at the end of the half. Could have, yeah. You know, we had a couple of those into the first half as well as the end of the second half being the end of the game. We, uh, 
we didn't make plays when we needed to make them, and uh, that's sort of evident of the day. And uh, our, our kids were never giving up; they were fighting. We just uh, we just didn't we didn't finish it. Pioneers give up a touchdown right there in the final seconds of the first half. Trail 35 to 20 going into the locker room. We'll have your third quarter highlights when we come back right after this. Ehrlich to pass under some pressure and he's sacked by Josh Davis. The football comes loose. A sack and a fumble recovery and the Pioneers now have life. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. Community-minded, just like you. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two-for-20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Coach, what makes a winning team? A winning team is individuals that are working toward one common goal. Coach, for over 30 years, Andrew Johnson Bank has been a winning team here in Greene County. It has always been our goal to provide superior service to our customers. Andrew Johnson Bank will never quit providing extra effort to make loyal customers in the community. Thank you, Coach DeBus. Thank you, Monica. Andrew Johnson Bank scores points with friendly customer service, top-notch bank products, and convenient locations. Tusculum College and Andrew Johnson Bank are a winning team. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. The Tusculum Pioneers trail 35 to 20 as we go into the second half. But for the pioneers, I'm sure in the locker room, they talked. Let's make a play. Well, just like last week, the pioneers would start with the big play to start the third quarter. Your third quarter highlights brought to you by your Greenville Light and Power System. You know, I told our football team the same thing. We did not have to play perfect in the second half. However, we do have to execute and make plays when our numbers are called. And uh, I knew we were kicking off to them, and this is a great job here by uh, T.J. Jones making a big tackle, causing a fumble. Uh, Arrington picks the football up, Justin Arrington there, and we get some momentum and take the field on offense. And I think uh, Bo here hits Michael Rodriguez, I believe. Couldn't really see if that was Michael or not. And we're feeling good about things. Michael Rodriguez over 400 yards receiving on the season now, in the, not necessarily in this football game. Here he has one for eight yards, and then the Pioneers strike to Rashad Carter, who just makes a great individual effort. Phenomenal effort. Phenomenal effort to get that ball in the end zone. Just uh, similar to the ball that throw on the other side to Michael early in the game. It's just great individual effort by Rashad. Uh, got some guys downfield blocking, trying to give it everything they can. You see Deontay Giss there giving it what he's got, blocking his man actually driving him all the way out of bounds, not letting his guy get involved. There's Brian Marshall getting down involved, helping Rashad get the ball in the end zone. and <clears throat> Just a great effort to get the ball across the goal line there. Eight receptions for 109 yards on the day for Rashad Carter. Uh, again, over 100 yards um, on the afternoon for two wide receivers. Last week it was four, but this is becoming a recurring thing for Tusculum. With the point makes it 35-27, but Newberry would come right back with an answer to David Presley, who was also a deep threat all day. That's just a great ball. I mean, not that we're covering him like a blanket, but we got a guy on him there, and we're, we're in chase mode, and we're putting some pressure on their quarterback. He just does a good job. It's one of his seven touchdown passes on the day, and unfortunately sets a record against us, and just had a, a great day. Da David Presley, seven catches for 117 yards. They had two uh, receivers over 100 yards on the day. Ehrlich went 23 of 40, seven touchdowns, a new conference record and two interceptions on the day. So we pick it up, Tusculum down 42-27, Britt for 14, Carter for 13, and now Carter for 12, just shy of the first down. Tusculum would go for it on fourth down, so on fourth down and one, Cordell would rush for three, and then find Carter for 21. Great job here. Look at the peel back block doing his part. Thought we got in the end zone. I really don't know why he didn't just finish the drive. I think the uh, official might have gotten knocked out of it. We had to go for it here two or three different times. And uh, probably should have given the ball to Brian Marshall as hard as he was running it there, but I kept telling Mark just to, 
to, to keep quarterback sneaking it, ball security, trying to get us some momentum. And unfortunately, they strike right back. 42-34 with the point after Cordell's second rushing touchdown, the third. Now a little fullback pass as Ehrlich goes out. They don't throw to the tight end. This is almost an H-back, so Ryan Williams gets a touchdown, and they up that lead once again to a 49-34 edge. And right here at the end of the third quarter, Tusculum is forced to punt for the first time on the day, and for Rossetti, it's his second longest punt of his career. Andy Rossetti's really improved over the last couple of weeks, and Steve McGill, our defensive line coach, oddly enough, does have some background and knowledge of the punt of a punter and kicker, and Steve's really doing a good job working with Andy and spending some quality time and giving Andy some confidence, and that was a great punt there at the end of third quarter. And uh, You know, Brian, you look at the score, and you're thinking, gosh, we're going to have to continue to fight and claw, and we're going to get down a little more than we are, but uh, Again, uh, the kids are giving great effort. If you think you've seen some fireworks now, wait till the fourth quarter. That's when the Frankie DeBus Show continues right after this. Screen complete to Carter. Carter has some blocking set up to the five. Breaks a tackle to the two. Down to the one. Lunges for the goal line touchdown. Rashad Carter would not be denied. A determined tough run for Carter. And the Pioneers back into it. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. Anything you'll ever need to rent or buy is at Grand Rental Station. Business, commercial, or residential, from forklifts to backhoes to tents, party goods, wedding supplies, and much more. On the Andrew Johnson Highway in Greenville, Grand Rental Station, 639-6160. Consumer Credit Union. Loans? We can do that. Three locations in Greenville and Mossheim. At Consumer Credit Union, everybody can join. Visit online at ConsumerCreditUnion.com.